Skull & Co. Neo Grips. I got it off of AliExpress because they didn't have them on Amazon yet. So, wait, what? You want me to open it? Well then let's do it, let's go. All right, DJ back in the building yet again. Skull and Cold Neo Grips. All right, here's the bottom for gamers, for tomorrow's gamers, not even today. Neo Grips. On the side, you got utilize a kickstand, slide lock, various colors. The top, you got not a damn thing. And on the side, you got the grips and what they do. And on the back, you got the Neo Grip for Nintendo Switch. Tells you what comes in the box or what comes in the box. The support links. Skull and Co. A Neo Grip. All right, with enough chit-chatting and lollygagging, we're going to open it. Well, you know how AliExpress sells and boxes all beat up. Let's just hope the grip isn't. All right. Make sure we don't cyber fade the camera. Make sure we didn't drop nothing out of this box. It looks empty to me. <laughs> right? You got a screen protector. You know that styrofoam uh, screen protector. You ain't gonna be able to see shit through it. And you got all the grips. You got you got the grip snaps. I just don't use these because they're not grippy enough for me. So I just use these to protect it when I'm traveling so I don't mess up the rails. You got those ones. You got the pluses, which is the big controller boys. And then you got the trigger ones that I'm a, that I assume are already on here. So let's take it out the packaging. And you have your very own switch right out the box. And it says Neo Grip. That's all the only game you're gonna get on it. Alright, let's take it out. Manhandle it for a second. There you go. Oh, whoa. You got some instructions. Fit in the grip. It says remove one of the Joy Cons and put the switch into the Neo Grip. Then gently insert the Joy-Con and then slide the holder. Removing it, you take off a controller. You slide it out. And how you install the grips? You pull them on, you pull them out. Switch into fit regular switch. Remove the screws. Slide the spacer. Install the screws. You know what? That's actually cool to have right now. Nothing else. And here you have it, the all white one. You got it. padding in here so it don't scratch the grill. I mean the switch. I just want to see if I could peel it off if it's sticky. It's not. I'm pretty sure you just take this off and remove the spacer so you can push it all the way in. Just don't do nothing, you slide it over. That's the front, and that's the back. You got, in big letters, you got Neo Grill, and then you got, what they say? Unlock, you push up, right? Or you push up, or you just throw that some bitch off of there. You don't need it. But I'm pretty sure you kind of do. And then here are the trigger grips. I mean, I'm pretty sure you guys already seen the grips before, but for those who hasn't or haven't, I liked it the last one. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like these ones. You get three sizes of grips instead of, you know, whatever they give you. But we are going to take this one out of here. But it ain't about that, it's about this. Oh, you put the, the switch in. 
Well, uh, they say the controller's first, then the back. No, it's not. It's not. Okay. You put one side in. You put your left foot in. You put your right foot out. And then I'm pretty sure you lock it in the place. So hopefully I'm getting this all on camera. And then you slide in the second boy. Bam. It looks like it might still be unlocked a little though. There it goes. And that is the grip. You can put, oh, it says up to lock down. It says up to lock when you're snapping them on and just pull down to unlock them. That's how it looks. You can still utilize your kickstand and whatnot. All right, does the Neo grip case, does he, can you dock it? And there it is, you can. It's on and it's, it's on and it's in. All right, let's move on to the next one. All right, and next up we got I don't know what the hell we got. We have the for N S O L E D T P U case. I don't know what that is. Now on the front, the console is not included. What? How is the console not included? And on the side, and on the back, fitted size nine slip grip humanization design better protection for the switch there we go on that side you got that nothing on the bottom on the top we got nothing it's just one of those you know those clear cases I maybe you guys are looking into it or something And there it is. I thought you said console not included. What is this? It's a console. And here it is. It's clear. Looks like a chessboard. TPU. Oh, you can fit two game cartridges just laying here. Two games. I mean, then you have to take the switch out, pull them on, pull them out, and I'm not going to be doing it, but you can't. You got all your, your cutouts. There it is. Got all your cutouts and everything. All right, let's freaking grab this switch. What to say? All right, let's grab this switch. Pop it in. Well, you might want to pop it in the right way. The top first. I mean, I, pop it in how you want to, but I'm just going to go with the top first. And that is how she looks. She covers up the whole switch or around it. You know, so loose on the edge, just like these ones normally are, but it doesn't seem to fit bad. You got the back of it. No, you cannot use the kickstand with this out. Is it dockable? That is the question. Oh man, the docking situation. I mean, no, it is not. No, I don't want to break the dock. But this one is not dockable like everyone I have so far. But there it is again, you get all your buttons, your vents and everything. The grips, the grips feel like 
grips, I guess. A little tiny. I mean, they're okay. I mean, they all work, but only if you like that sort of thing. They're like a small version, smaller version of the trigger grips. All right. And that's that. I, I didn't get, there's no name on this box. So just a generic TPU clear case. And, well, half clear, half not. Call it like frosted. Have clear, have frosted. All right, let's move on to the next. All right, so up next we got the flip type crystal protector for NS OLED. It's all clear. Every time a new switch come out, they come out with these things, and nobody ever gets them because you know they're garbage. So is this one garbage too? All around protect the console, easy to install and remove. On the side. Flip type crystal protector for the NES. I can see that part at first. Flip type crystal protector. Flip type, which means a kickstand. I mean, you can kick the kickstand out. It's a full case for it. High quality materials. Humanization design. Seems like we wouldn't be the first time we've seen that today. A better protection and all around protection. On the side, we got shock proof. Drop resistant, waterproof, and you can recycle it. All right, let's open. It. it looks like screen protector. Comes with a screen protector. That's nice to have. Put over here with the other one. You got the Joy Cons. Then we have, you know, caps for our thumbsticks. Then you got the back or the bottom. And the flip cover part. And then you got the bottom part. All right, let's. Then you got. Oh, a microfiber cleaning cup. You know, it feels kind of cheap, but hey, if you don't have one, it's good to have. And you got the stuff for the screen protector. That we will not be using. All right, now it's not in the case anymore. Let's use the screen protector just because, you know, we got it. Cool. That's a screen protector. Or not a screen protector. Let's snap on the back first. If we can open this some more. Oh, there it goes. Alright. It's nice and freaking thin. It's light. It should just snaps on the switch. Wait. That's supposed to go the other way. Wait, okay, there it goes. And just clips in. Okay. All right, let's pop the switch in. Take the Joy Cons off. Let's snap this boy in place. And there? No, it's not in all the way. Okay. Let's pop this out. Ah, okay, let's pop that through the hole then. Now let's pop it into place. Is that in? What? It should clip on here, right? No, it, it freely dangles, but there? Oh, it clips in. At least I heard it click. I'm trying to make sure it's on all the way. <laughs> Wait, did it break already? I think it did. Unless it's just that flimsy. It's flimsy. It's flimsy. Alright. And this is on. And it won't let go of the fucking 
it won't let go of it okay there one at a time let's not put it all on here I'm sorry it's just it, this is already causing too much problems and we see why we don't get it but uh, here is it's it's on now I think maybe it'll work better with the joy cons ones on all right take off the plastic All right, let's pop the Joy-Con into it. Top bumpers first. I mean, that's just how I do it. And you put this on the top, and it just snaps in. I mean, they didn't. Oh, you know what? It's gonna. It's hard to. It's not easy to press the buttons because they're. It's flush. If that makes sense, it's not easy to press the buttons because they're flush. I mean, it's fine, but. It's not easy. Let's snap that one on. I said slap. There we go. All right, and then the second one. Hopefully, I got all that on camera. Cause I'm not looking at the camera. Looking past it. I know. Gotta be better. All right, then. Take the plastic off of this some bit. All right. Oh, my switch is dying. Yeah, we'll be all right. And then we pop this into place. Just, just like that deal. Then push it down. Make sure you get the snappage. They slide on. They slide on and off with no problem. But this middle case is kind of shit. There we go. It's all on. It protects the whole switch, but not probably very effectively. You can tell the you can see the circles are kind of off, huh? <laughs> Unless it's not on right, you can see the circles are kind of off. The kick's dead. We don't want to do that. Look, it it snaps the whole thing off. It's it's just not that good. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Maybe they clicked on a lot better. Let's try it again. It doesn't close all the way if it is. Okay. Snap that in. Let's try this again. Let's try this again. Okay, that was a lot better. All right. Okay, maybe, maybe. Okay, it snaps into place. I guess if you're not using it. It's just too flimsy. It's just too flimsy. I don't, I think people are going to hate this. Look, look, and you try to pull it off. Hold on. Can you see that on camera? You pull it off the whole thing comes with it it's just it's this is just no if you're thinking to get this go to something else <laughs> i am not gonna put i mean i'm not gonna lie it kind of looks cool because it's just like all clear and it does have these little grips which i mean <laughs> don't do shit but and it's hard to press i mean you can't even it's just no that's a no-go for me partner that's just a no-go for me partner all right, let's check out the let's, since we got to do let's let's check out the thumb the uh, the grip. Let's check out the guards for the pad or the you got all the paw prints. On some of them, some of them you don't, but you know you can find better of these ones everywhere else. Or these are the same generic ones that come with everything else. It's just not, I mean, but the product itself is, yeah, it's a no-go. It's a no-go. I, I don't want to link it down, but you know what? I will j just because, just because. All right. All right, enough of that. Let's move on to the next. Let's move on to the next thing, which we have a switch case. That's all it says at the top. Hold on. See if I can get that on camera. Let's move this camera up a little bit. Oh. Switch case, that's it. It's just a bright yellow lemon case, half case. I got it because it was, you know, a half case. So, I wanted to do it. On the sides, you got what we're about to show you. And on the back, they got 
this. I'm not gonna read it all, but I, we will scroll through it. All right, now let's pop it open. If you guys are looking for a half case, what what brand is this? Geek Share. It is a company called Geek Share. I know it's bright yellow. It's 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 bright yellow. But I guess that's why they got a lemon in front of it, right? You got the strap. You got the lemon. <laughs> You got the little the, the lemon zipper ties. I was looking for a half case, so this is what we lemon <laughs> lemon dough switch, hundred percent all natural. Okay, that's kind of I like that. That's kind of cool. All right, over here you got the soft. It's not velvet. It's cottony, like a thin cotton padding. You got a case for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12 game cards and then this from the pictures this is where you keep the joy cons all right now let's pop the switch into it actually we got to pop it out of this this piece of shit first don't just just don't get that you know like those little old school reset buttons and shit <laughs> it's just okay now you pop this in you just pop the switch in right here Bam, like perfect size. It's not moving. You ain't getting no wiggle. I mean, up and down, up and down, you'll get wiggle, but side to side, you won't. Then you got this to protect the screen. This is where you put the Joy Cons. <laughs> it's just. Okay, yeah. They're, they're not protecting nothing twice. <laughs> maybe once. Maybe once you'll get that first drop protection, but you ain't getting it twice. All right, we finally got them out. All right, the Joy Cons. We got the Velcro, so Joy Cons won't get out of there. They put the Joy Cons back there, like that there. I think. You have the Joy Cons like that there. You got maybe a little bit more space to put something else behind there, but I don't know. And then you just close it. And there it is. There's that half case. I mean, it has your Nintendo Switch in it the whole time. Just, just in half. Which, and you can actually put all the stuff in here to protect it, vice versa, the charger, the charger and whatnot. But it is bright yellow. The one I got is bright yellow. All right. That's just, I, I wanted something a little tiny. Okay, that didn't sound right. But that's for, you know, it's, it's small. It's not very huge. It's not going to take up enough space, actually, compared to the... It's actually smaller than this. All right, what is next? And I know the star of the show, I believe. The star of the show. I'm going to switch out the way. All right, and you have a wireless controller replacement for the NSW. Vibration Turbo Six Axis Gyroscope Wireless Connection Wireless Replacement Wireless Replacement Not a damn thing And the same thing up top You got all these colors in the back They say they got all those colors And I'll show you what this says Designed for the NSW Ideal replacement For original left and right controllers Turbo Function Let you enjoy the best turbo speed to battle and it helps you win the games faster. Motion control with six S's gyro somatosensory. Hold on, is that just blurry or that says somatosensory? Motion control controllers provide accurate and responsive control for motion games essential for your per perfect gaming experience vibration feedback which gives you compelling gaming experience ergonomic shape and sticker your right and left will be naturally comfort sticker makes it easy to grip easily easy to connect power on your switch system sticker 
idle for controllers from top to bottom, then it's stickers. <laughs> All right, enough with the sticker joke. All right, let's just open this some of them and let's see what we got working out for us here. I didn't see any other colors, so we just got the normal. You start off with the booklet. I mean, I mean a book. You start off with the book, getting started. Make sure you read this guide before using the controller. You don't know how to use a controller, so you gotta read this shit. <laughs> All right, let's pop it. Let's pop it. All right, you get a... I don't know what you get. <laughs> you get a USB to, I'm guessing, proprietary controller. You know what, let's just... Let's just see what the controller got for us. They're already lighting up. Like they haven't been connected to Jack. So, all right, let's just go over the controllers. It has a, you know what? We're gonna get another Joy-Con for this actually. Just so we can compile. Huh? All right, Joy-Con to Joy-Con. It's a little wider. It's at, a, at an angle. It has these rubber like sides. The rest of this is plastic, but this is more like a little rubber, so it fit more comfortably in your hand. You got the turbo button. You got, okay, hold on. You got the turbo button right here. You got the home button right here. You got, it looks like the exact same joystick to me, so I'm pretty sure it's the same joystick. You got the button lane, you got the plus button. All right. On the sides, you got, you got some ass to it. She got a little ass to it. But we all call those grips. The buttons look a little bigger, at least. Yeah, they look a little bigger, more maybe more comfortable for the big hand. You got this ergonomic shape. It said that on the box. And then you got the. And yeah, you can use these wirelessly. I think. I think that's what it said on the box right now. At this point, we're just not looking at it. The quality don't seem bad. I mean, it seems like the same quality. Let's check the rails out. The rails look the exact same. Maybe they're using the same rails, just from a different company. All right, all right. Okay. And this is what the, and it has a D-pad on instead of four buttons. And you got another turbo button. I'm assuming this is the capture button. Same thing on this side. Let's put it up to the switch. Let's see what we got. All right, now it's a test of truth. All right, let's slide these bad bitches on. Let's see. You get the snap. Oh man, let's see if it comes off. Where's the button? Right here. The button's kind of easy to get to. You can feel it. It's actually kind of, and you can. Let's put them on, and then we can we can actually talk about that a little bit more. You see how the button sticks out on the side right here? You can feel it, and it's not hard to press at all. Maybe a little crunchy. No? Well, maybe it's a little sticky up. Yeah. <clears throat> but when you when you're back here you can feel it. It may be a good thing now, but let's put let's put them on, let's see how this bitch looks. How they look. Okay, now you got a switch. Now you got yourself a switch. That's kinda that's kinda cute. That's kinda cute. Let's check the back out. You know what? It don't fit. You know what? It don't fit too bad. The grips could be bigger. So I don't know how, how much you would like that. <laughs> We're just testing it out. It will not. But I think you guys know that. It's not going to fit in here. There's own controllers and they're bigger. I mean, the grips don't feel bad, but they just feel like, you know, uh, Moomba case grips. Oh, you know, the D-pad don't feel too bad. It's not, it's like, it's not as rock solid as the Joy-Con. You don't get that, the haptic feedback like you do, like you're pushing a button. But it's not as soft as, let's say, the OXP. All right, plug it in, and there you go. All right, come on, just, just. Just, just work with me now. All right, there we go. 
You plug them in like that and they're charging. Well, they were charging. This cord is a little short, but there you go. You plug them in at the bottom of the Joy-Con rail and you charge them like that. All right, and we got action. It's on, well, kind of. Let's slide these on. See if we can see if they charge, you know, the... Wait, did that sound? Okay, okay. This one feels a little rough. Like not as smooth as actual Joy-Cons, it, it felt a little rough. Yeah. Maybe, maybe it's just me, it click in fine. Right, I like automatically connect. Let's go to the controllers. And the Joy-Cons are charging, so. You can charge it outside of it. All right, let's play. Let's put. Let's play a game. Let's play a game and see how they actually work. All right, and at the end, my final thoughts is it's a bit small. Like they got all this extra space, they could have made the D-pad a little longer, a little bigger. So, I mean, the the sticks work like the sticks that's on the actual controller. The buttons are not too bad. I mean, the grips. I mean, they feel like Moomba grips. So that means, for me, they, they're a little too small, so they don't work as good. But this it's okay to have. They're okay to have. They charge on the thing. They work wisely, like extra Joy-Cons, but with a little grip to them. I don't think they'll actually fit in your typical grip thing right here. And they won't. But, but you know, the one that came with the bin box, which I don't have on me right now, they'll fit on that one, and then you can use them as a controller like this, which will kind of be dope. But the quality's fine, everything's fine, but do they beat the Joy-Cons out for me? No, because you can add something like this. I mean, they're cool, they're cool to have. They give the Switch a little bit more dimension than just this oval shape. They're not bad. I wish the buttons were a little. See, this is just compared to this one. Silent. And you know what? You have to kind of hit this perfectly on top, because the side won't register half the time. Sometimes, but when you get them up close and you're playing with them, it's not that hard. But this video has been too long already. So you guys know me. Let me know who you are by commenting down below. Anything that you would like to see me review or anything. Just, just hook it up in the comments. And I'm out. Roll the outro.